talk, shop, pop, movies. Oh, hi there. This is Derek, the convicted cinephile. And if you're a convicted cinephile yourself, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel down below. On my channel, I'd like to talk, shop, and pop open, that is movies and physical media. And today I'm going to do something different since I recently partook in my former baby brother's... Oh, Bob put up his uh, Rad 9 video. I need to watch that one. And it's so emotional. I don't have any brothers, but I can imagine the impact and the emotion that this movie packs for somebody who has a brother. That motherfucker! Live stream challenge of the VHS battle tournament, which I fared better than I expected. Let's be honest. Um, I wanted to show off all the weird ass movies I have on VHS because the main reason I even wanted to do that in the first place was because I have some weird shit and I have 42 tapes here all of which are either really obscure or really hard to find which I guess is kind of the same thing depending on which way you want to look at it I don't know what I'm talking about so all of these tapes come from a communal collection between me and a friend or two of mine that we purchased from a going out of business video store like 15 years ago, give or take, at least, probably closer to 18 or so. We refer to it as our shitty movie collection. Here are 42 of the shittiest VHS tapes you'll see, some of which are amazingly bad movies, some of which are just bad movies, some are just hilarious. I just want to show you them, and this is only like half of the ones we have. If this fares well and getting the rest of them here is not too big of a pain in the ass, I might do a part two of this video somewhere down the line. So let's get started. I have from Lightning Video, Always a Winner. Wired to Kill. Yes, Wired to Kill. This was one of them I used, I believe, on the second night. I have this fancy lenticular Invisible Dad. I love that one. I'm sure it's great. I've watched some of these, but not all of them. That is for damn sure. Uh, yeah, but pretty much all these are just waiting for Vinegar Syndrome to pull out of obscurity. We have The Legend of Gator Face. <laughs> As you can see, they're all pre-rental tapes. Hence the fact that we got them from a video store. But look at that. Look at those effects on Gator Face. You know, that's a good one. We have Perfect Match. Yeah, I've never heard of it either until I got this. Uh, yeah, this is the dude who plays uh, Marty McFly's older brother in Back to the Future, and he's uh, Jimmy Olsen in Superman. Mark McClure, that's his name. From the fine folks at Forum Home Video. All right, this is from New Star Video, Death Chase. Pretty sure I watched this one once, but it was such a long time ago that I just don't remember anything about it, other than the fact that I'm sure it's great. But yeah, Death Chase, look at those. This one is California Hunk, and that is the uh, cop from Killer Clowns from Outer Space, so that's pretty sweet. Even my five-year-old recognized him when we were looking through these pre-tournament. So depending on which way you look at it, it's either California hunk or hunk. And uh, this one's sort of similar to that one, oddly enough. Campus Man. About a handsome chap who gets into a sexy calendar of some sort because uh, of his buddy at college and gets into shenanigans. Yeah, good, good stuff. I know we have at least the first one of this series, but here's number two. I figured the second one would be more obscure if I had to go that way. Barbarian Queen 2, The Empress Strikes Back. I love the tagline. But this one looks pretty badass. I mean, any of the movies with artwork like this, you know it's good. The sword and sandals epics that they used to make back in the day. Here's one that's actually something people know. Classic 80s horror movie. Uh, I doubt it's easy to find on VHS, but I know it does exist on Blu-ray and stuff. Popcorn. Cool tape, though. I never pulled this one because I figured it was popular enough that people would have it, but I thought someone might want to pull it, and it would be a good one to try to block with, so that's why I have this one here. This one looks terrible. Uh, from Pulse Pounters, Family Sci-Fi with an Edge. Teenage Space Vampires. I know you're all looking on your Amazon right now, adding all these to your cart, going on the eBay, picking yourself up an unopened VHS of Teenage Space Vampires. Here we've got David Hasselhoff and Linda Blair in Bailout. 
Look at that artwork. And they were really resourceful and they used the same picture for the side and the back. So you know they worked hard for that one. Does so anyone here love BBC? I know I do. We got Moon Trap. I blocked Tim with this, that was fun. But this has Bruce Campbell in it and Walter Cohen of Star Trek. I believe that's him right there. Walter Cohen. Is Bruce Campbell even on the case anywhere? Yeah, there he is down here. There's some Bruce. This one is awesome. This is a Vestron video title and I'm pissed off that it does not have a Vestron video Blu-ray yet. Let me, I'm just gonna read the uh, tagline first. Just your typical action-adventure, science fiction, musical fantasy in the post-apocalyptic world. Radioactive dreams, yeah. I remember I picked this one out for sure. All those years ago, almost decades ago. This one just looks awesome. It's like Mad Max musical. <laughs> so fucking weird. But Vestron needs to release that ASAP. This one's actually legitimately pretty good. It's one of those weird kind of Mad Max ripoff movies, just like that last one. This has a really nice Blu-ray release, and I can't remember who it's from, but I'll maybe try to remember to shoot up the uh, picture for you if I remember. But Mega Force with Barry Boswick. This movie is pretty kick-ass. Rated PG back when that meant something. So you know now it'd be like rated R because everyone's a pansy nowadays. But yeah, this is a pretty cool Star Wars Mad Max wannabe from the 80s. We had the third one of these on Laserdisc <laughs> at one point. Sadly, my friend sold all those. Uh, Night Siege, Project Set. Night Siege, Project Shadow Chaser 2. It's hard to say for some reason. Part man, part machine, pure killer. Here's the other Bruce Campbell VHS I had, just on, on hold to hopefully block Tim with, but that would be Mind Warp. Also has Angus Scrim from Phantasm. Mind warp. Here I have, this is honestly one of my favorite like cheesy bad movies. Rotor. Uh, good riff tracks for this. There is a Blu-ray, but I think it's out of print from Scream Factory. And it's like a two pack with some other movie. This very badly needs like a kick-ass Vinegar Syndrome 4K or something like that. If Scream Factory did it, they would just recycle the same two pack probably. But I want a 4K Rotor. Cause I love it. All right, here's another awesome one from Lightning Video that I think recently got or is about to get a overseas Blu-ray release. And I really want them to release one here too. Neon Maniacs. This is a weird ass movie. <laughs> Slash, Mohawk, Hangman, Thing, Samurai. They're the Neon Maniacs, an unstoppable, hideous incarnation of evil zombies in San Francisco. This is just a kick-ass movie all around. And yeah, needs a... This is, yeah, this is basically the Vinegar Syndrome well of which they could pull fantastic surprise releases. This is probably the most well-known movie out of all of these. At least it's in like the top three or four. That's just The Crush with Alicia Silverstone. Uh, I don't know why I have this, to be honest. I, I know of it. My sister used to like it. <laughs> I've never seen it. But yeah, this is probably the most normal of all of these movies I have in these piles. This is a good one. And I have it on Blu-ray as well. This is a nice big box VHS of The Ice Pirates. One I was tempted to pull, but I figured Ice Pirates was at least well-known enough that someone might want to try to block it or pull it. Who knows? But this one's gorgeous. I love these big box releases. I only have, I think, four of them. But they kick ass, Ice Pirates. This is a fun one. I believe it is a Warner Archive Blu-ray. I think it's the only one I have, to be honest with you. I don't collect those, really. This one's very strange. They bite. They bite. Weird little shitty alien monster movie in Florida. Yeah, but there's some weird, weird sex things going on on one of these pictures. They bite. I'm sure the movie does, too. Okay, here's a nice uh, 4K from Vinegar Syndrome. Cloak and Dagger on VHS. Which I think, it, didn't it go straight from VHS to 4K? Or am I just thinking of sidekicks? Which I know I also have at my buddy's house where these usually are. He doesn't have a kids or pets, so it's the safest place for us to hold all these movies. I still need to watch this. Cheesy little, uh, actually I didn't realize this actually had people in it until I double checked. Playing for Keeps. You know the movie's probably bad when it doesn't show the actors' names but the soundtrack on the bottom. But it looks like it has Marissa Tomei, so how bad could it be? I'll watch anything with her in it. 
but you know, I'm sure it's not very good. Here's an erotic thriller I pulled. Fair game when playtime turns to prey time. Not to be mistaken with the other several movies of the same title. This is another one I believe I pulled from IUD Entertainment. It's not just a birth control anymore. Now we make VHSs apparently. Power Force. Nice kick-ass martial arts movie. At least I assume it is by the cover. The back's not so great. But this cover. You know a movie's good if the letters are like, they look like stone and they go up in like a pyramid shape of some sort. Which is why Bubba Hotep is so great. Uh, nobody's perfect. I think I pulled this one too. It's a, like a gender swap comedy, kind of like uh, like the ones everyone else talks about that I can't think of the titles right now. Just one of the guys. There we go. It's like that. Which I'm guessing. I just thought of this. The title is probably a ripoff of the final line from uh, Some Like It Hot. It has to be right. Here's another fairly well known one as far as these movies go. It also has, or at least had, a Scream Factory Blu-ray. If it doesn't anymore, Rockula. Rock and roll Dracula teenager movie. This one is uh, from Canon Video, so you know it's gold. But yeah, this one's not too bad from what I remember. It's a rock and roll comedy with a bite, so you gotta give it that. This one I have Naked Space with Leslie Nielsen. This is the. It's also called Spaceship. I actually did a video last summer in my spoof movie summer things where I was talking about Airplane and I was talking about the ripoff of Airplane, which is this movie called Spaceship, I believe. It's also called Naked Space. So it's basically airplane in space, except it sucks. I have Love Lines. Look at that, isn't that cute? Love Lines from Key Video. I love the Key Video spines, little rainbow spines. I've got a couple of those. Here's one I'm surprised I hadn't heard of because it actually has actors in it. Pass the Ammo. It's a religious satire with Tim Curry, Annie Potts, and Bill Paxton. Yeah, who else is in it? Linda Kozlowski. Okay, I thought I knew that name better, but I don't. But hey, it has Tim Curry and Bill Paxton and Eddie Potts. So it's got to be at least watchable. Here's another key video. Foxes. With a very, very young Jodie Foster. I believe this has a Kino Lorber Blu-ray, actually. If I'm not remembering incorrectly. But there, there you go. I've got Wild Thing. Uh, 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 it says it's a horror movie, but it's not. <laughs> it's basically like this feral man living in the city who's like a quasi shitty superhero yeah <laughs> it's 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 a movie what are you gonna do all right here's another gorgeous big box starring mr t penitentiary 2 there's actually a couple different versions of this vhs but this one is sticky and sweet i don't know why it's sticky but it is yeah you got mr t right there and this artwork is gorgeous Big box tapes are so cool. If I saw a big box tape, regardless of what it was in the wild, I'd probably buy it just because they're kick-ass. Here's a, a weird nature uh, animal documentary-esque movie. The Wonder of It All. Yeah, The Wonder of It All. Look at these gorgeous animals doing their animal things. Not one, not two, but three kinds of heat on VHS. And this is a Warner Brothers movie, so you'd think you know, it would have been like marketed or something. But apparently not. It does star Shock T though, so that's cool. These are pretty much, I think this is a stack I went 10 for 10 with on that, the first night of the tournament now. Tokyo Pop! The romantic comedy. An American success story that's way hip, way cool, and way far from home. You get it? Because he's from Tokyo, I assume. This is a hellish chase through a world gone wild, so a Mad Max ripoff just from that. Uh, but it does have Xander Berkeley, so that's cool. Lawless Land. It's pretty sweet looking, actually. 90% of these movies are just Mad Max ripoffs. <laughs> Every movie in the late 70s through the 80s was either a Star Wars or a Mad Max ripoff to some degree. Just so you know. And here we have The Misfit Brigade. Womp womp. I'm guessing it's like a wannabe Hogan's Heroes movie because it's a military comedy. And it's also an $80 VHS back when it came out. I don't know if you can see it, but right here. 79.95. That's how much VHS is used to cost kids, if you didn't already know that. Here's one of my all-time favorites from Lightning Video yet again. Warriors of the Apocalypse. Yet again, another Mad Max ripoff. Uh, yeah, it's pretty sweet. Look at that back of that case. It is, that'll sell you. But if this doesn't sell you, I don't know what's wrong with you. Best laser eye battle in film history. Here's, here is my first poll. Everyone liked this one. Fat guy goes nutsoid. This is a movie 
apparently, uh, that exists, and I have it. And uh, there he is throwing up on the back, and it's really gross. He's playing saxophone here, so that's pretty sweet. He sold me. All right, here is another big box. My Safari 3000. Yeah. I don't believe I watched this, and if I did, I fell asleep through it. But look at that artwork. I gotta, you gotta love that shit. This is very clearly a Crocodile Dundee knockoff, just from the <laughs> cover of it. It's amazing the random movies that were even mildly successful sometimes would get endless knockoffs made of them. Last but not least, definitely not least, one of my favorites out of all 42 of these, America 3000 from Canon Pictures. So technically I believe Amazon has the rights to this now, if I'm not mistaken. Please, please, Vinegar Syndrome, you've been whipping out kick-ass MGM 4Ks for the past couple years. Please have the rights and be planning on making an America 3000 VSU 4K, or at the very least, a 4K with a kick-ass slip cover that looks at least as cool as this, which I know is gonna be damn near impossible. But this is yet again, <laughs> essentially a Mad Max ripoff. Did I show the tape? I can't remember. You gotta love the big box flap things. But yeah, essentially this is a, a one where men are enslaved by women and there's this guy who is, I can't remember if he's like thought, it's been a while since I watched it, but if he's like thought out and goes there or something, but he's like the only man who can speak, which is a Planet of the Apes, you know, rip off right there. And he, he, you know, teaches them to work together. And then you got this hairy animal carrying an American flag in a boombox, which is uh, how we're all gonna be tomorrow, which is gonna be the 4th of July, depending on what time you're watching this video. And that's it so far. Those are 42 of the most obscure VHSs you may have ever seen. I know a handful of them are common enough, but I had it, so I might as well show it. And I have at least this many again over. And if I can get all those and show them off in a second part of this video, I will do that at some point. It's gotta be worth the labor of hauling them all home. <laughs> so please make it worth the labor. Comment down below, have you seen any of these? Do you have any of these? Which ones are you Googling right now? And which ones do you have in your eBay and Amazon carts as we speak? Once again, my name is Derek. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Talk, shop, pop, movies.